Gene, I've just been trying to think of a way to repay you. Repay for, me? Yeah, for for driving me to w work. In oh, the well, that's no Because I can't deal. drive, and I've been just been thinking about. It. I discussed it with my au pair, with, you with Edna. It. With Edna, I said, "What do you, what do you think, Edna?" Well, and she, she was not non, helpful. She was non-committal. Oh, really, Edna is non-committal about most things. <laughs> she just takes care of the kids and, and your adult children. She yeah. takes care of your adult. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, like she like she does a, a breathalyzer test on my son. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Before, before he drives. <laughs> you know, things like that. That's true. I'm glad you have yeah. Edna then yeah. for that. And, uh, but, so, but I've been just racking my brains. How can I pay you back for driving me to work? Mm -hmm. And I decided, and I did it, I, I, I named a star for you. <gasps> I... Gina, that's for, that's a re, that's a real thing. Wow. I what I did. Yeah. Which one is no, it? No, wait. What I did. I'll show you tonight when it's dark, <laughs> okay. or when you pick me up in the morning. Oh so, yeah, when you pick me up, I'll okay. show you. I went outside, and I looked up. And I, ah, there are lots of stars. Well, there's, there's billions. And I looked of around, and I. Uh, that one looks like a Gina to you, me. Oh, you personally so selected I, one. So I selected oh. that star. And I wrote that down on mm -hmm. a piece of paper, wow. and then I had it notarized, and it's in my who, safe deposit box. Who, so notar that, who notarized uh, it? A, a notary. Edna. What Edna's, Edna's, Edna? Edna's, Edna's a notary. Edna's, Edna's, she's an au pair and a notary. <laughs> and um, she and she she gave me a breathalyzer test, and then she notarized it, and I've put it in my safe deposit box at the bank. Oh, good. Edna's a court-ordered au pair. Would you? <laughs> she has to be there to break. What's going on? I wondered what was would going on. Like, uh, wow, Bill, would you I, like? Wow, that's Bill. Would you like a copy of the? Sure. Of the, the document, and Did I, it? I even drew on the, on the piece of paper, approximately where that star the is located. The circle and an arrow. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, so I drew a picture of my house. And then an arrow <laughs> goes it up to the... So I have to go to your house so in order to see. Yeah, well, in order to figure out yeah. which star it is, yeah. Do people really do this? Because I've heard... I know why you brought this up, Bill. I've heard the ads running. Yeah. Are and, they back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, this is so-and-so for the International Star it's Registry. It's one of the greatest hoaxes of all time. I just... Uh, it's amazing. Because I... in the future, the Starship Enterprise is not going to be orbiting around... Gina. It. Gina Wiener 2 or yeah. whatever it is. You oh, know? I want it to be Gina Wiener 2. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm going to buy a star. I, want, I wonder how much it costs. It's the International Star Registry. Okay. And I don't know. It's the perfect gift. I think it depends on, on how far away the star is. The price, goes, it, the price goes down the further away it is. Frequently asked questions. <laughs> like, is this legit? How much does it cost to name yeah, a star? How much is, that's how much? my first question, yes. Uh, the prices vary. See, depending on which which agency is grifting you. Well, is it a standard star, or is it or a constellation? A very bright star. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. easier to. These see. are all scientific terms. Mm -hmm. I. The price depends on the package you choose. The brightness of the star. Prices vary from thirty nine ninety mm -hmm. for just a, your mm -hmm. regular mm -hmm. star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To one hundred and eighty dollars for a very bright. Uh, the one star. I selected for you is a hundred and eighty dollars star. You went, you went all the way. Sure. Well, he, he knows. Sure. He knows you have bad night vision, and he, I, he wanted it to be very bright so yeah. that you could see it. And I happen to be a connoisseur of stars. I know. Mm -hmm. I know the best ones. Uh, I'm I'm on frequently asked questions mm. about. Naming a star. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it's uh, uh, well. Here's a here's a frequently asked question that I have. Can you do you have to name it after a person, or can you name it after something else? A body part. <laughs> you know anything? <laughs> I'm going to name my star you know? after a body part. Let's see. Let's see. And do you have to have this person's permission also to name? Because if I wanted mm. to name, you don't. You know, one after Bobby Flay, mm -hmm. or I don't know. <laughs> when people talk about naming a star, they are usually talking about dedicating a star to someone as a unique gift or mm -hmm. to remember a deceased person in mm -hmm. the night sky. That's also what I had in mind with this one. <laughs> deceased person yeah. in the oh, night sky? Or when you die. Steph in the chat room says, I'm pretty sure I have one of these for my ex-husband. <laughs> really? <laughs> Somewhere. I need to see this, Steph. I want to see a real... A hundred and eighty bucks. I want to see the real hoax, you know, form. I want to see... Is naming a star legitimate? This is frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. Naming a star by private individuals is legitimate 
as long as they don't want to change the scientific name of the star. So the the star has a name. Yeah. yeah. You're not changing the official name Regulus of the star. Regulus number 7274. Yeah, it'll be Gamma Hydra 2. Or, uh, yeah. It's not going to be the well, planet Gina Wiener. So, well, so it could be Regulus 74737XY2, yeah. yeah. parentheses, <laughs> Gina Wiener. Planet Gina Wiener. <laughs> yeah. Planet G-Balls. <laughs> Naming a star as a gift for of a beloved person is not only a great gift, See? but it's a gift that lasts forever. See? <laughs> see, that's why I did yeah. it. It's a lesson that you'll learn forever. You see that on the wall, kids? You see? That's, that's what I got ripped off forty dollars there. That's is NASA affiliated with naming your star? No. Not. This says NASA has nothing to do with naming no. stars. No. They're just a bunch of egghead scientists. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh -oh. this is poetic. Uh, right now in the eastern sky in the morning, there are three planets visible, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Are you sure you didn't choose one of them? Yeah, you can't buy uh, a planet. This oh. is a star. Let's see. No, I'm pretty sure. Trav, Trav the Trash Man weighs in. You mean naming a star is a scam? <laughs> as someone who was gifted a jackalope license as a kid, I'm taking over. <laughs> As someone who was sent looking for a left-handed monkey wrench at Lagoon one time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.